<laughs> Between dirty old men. Oh, no. Still your touch. The two of us are waiting for the check. You look into my eyes and smile, reaching across the table. You lightly stroke the back of my hand. In the elevator, your closeness as you adjust my tie, apply last second touches to my appearance, soft fingers brushing to the side and errant block, and then up on tiptoe, neck arched, chin up, you reach for a kiss most gladly given. That moment when you came to where I sat engrossed in paperwork and from behind reaching down, your hot breath on my neck and then your lips, I felt them trailing sparks from neck to ear. And then your wet sweet kiss and from behind, you wrapped me in your arms as I leaned back, reaching across and around to cradle your head against my own head, lips, hands, fingers, touch and brush and press and hold. Each touch in turn both pleasure and erotic escalation seeking ever deeper, harder, stronger. So many years and still there is the thrill felt at your touch. Alone together, first moments. Years later, I recall a teasing pinch before your arms wrapped round me. My fingers softly scratching, faint red lines on down, your yielding back as you lean into me expectantly. A scent of apple in your hair wakes my stallion thoughts and fills my flaring nostrils as looking up into my downward gaze, you tilt your chin and open upturned mouth to meet my lower lips, now gently biting, briefly holding. Before your lips pressed hard, there came the advantage, a sudden fierce arousal as your tongue flips serpentine, so lightly, so electric, against my own. Thoughts of you are never far, always shades of blue. Like a letter opener, you slide easily between the fold and adhered edges into the pauses in the back and forth of the evening's shallow conversation. Making your presence felt in awkward silences, your absence unacknowledged, though well known. And just as when the wrist is flicked, and the envelope of gathered years together is ripped open, spilling all that still none dare to say aloud out into every open space between your absence and your presence, crowding out what seemingly superfluous banalities and token words are spoken, reducing us to silence once again. That you, yourself, are absent shouts out very loud in silence and echoes through these now unneeded rooms and lonely halls. I gaze at every wall you painted, all but shades of blue, a style for fate to imitate, foreshadowing this heart on losing you. Teal and turquoise, hurt and pain, cerulean sadness, cyan sorrow, aqua tinted loneliness accompany me as I wander aimlessly into and through each quiet, unlit room, empty, silent as the tomb. How could you or I have known that life and love would end so soon, spilling out so many shades of blue? an unmelodic melody, a tuneless tune. 